Established in 1960, the Witz Planetarium was the first full-sized planetarium in Africa and the second in the Southern Hemisphere. For nearly 60 years, it has inspired young minds with its astronomical and scientific wonders. Witz Vice-Chancellor Professor Zeblon Vilagazi wants young people from underprivileged backgrounds to be inspired and take advantage of the new advanced features offered by the facility. Most importantly, I think that uh, the wonders of science is to understand why the sky is blue, why does the sun rise from the east, right? Uh, where do we come from? What is the uh, nature of how the world works? As, and answering those questions help us not only in understanding the fundamental questions around human, our, our, where we come from, but also it helps with advances in uh, medical care. Uh, the reason we are able to manage COVID relatively well compared to other pandemics like the, uh, what they call Spanish flu 100 years ago was that we had advances in medicine, in technology to monitor, to track. So therefore, as we advance in science, we also uh, advance in medicine and, and, and actually improving the quality of life of people. We'll offer students and learners a unique opportunity to expand their imagination. It promises to open up a whole new world of endless possibilities in both entertainment and education while igniting a spark of adventure. Apart from just looking at say planets and stars, you can actually uh, have any kind of video from different fields like say from archaeology, so like having the paleo sciences or like what you want to have a marine biology uh, video on marine biology looking under the ocean and exploring the sea um, or having like going deep into a mine and what a mine looks like or uh, going to Mars, landing on Mars and exploring Mars. Uh, so these kind of things are are possible and you can actually uh, move around uh, using your you know gaming controller the state of the art innovation will unlock infinite possibilities that the world has to offer for young people hoping to pursue careers in science technology and research the whole idea of creating spaces like this is to add a bit of visualization if you've got a great uh, 10 standard 8 uh, pupil studying biology you know, you can read as many books as you can, but sometimes it actually helps to visualize that. And when they come here and they get exposed to content that shows the visualization of how the human heart functions. The Digital Dome will do a trial run from now till January and officially open its doors to the public in February. SABC News, Johannesburg.